Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scum Models and today I'm back with you. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. This is the future. Uh, we are going to take a look at a couple of 3D printed kits. These are from Vargas Scale Models com. They are a company out of uh, the USA. Um, these are from the Tank Museum, so this is where you can get them from. I will leave a link if you fancy getting these kits. They are a little bit expensive. They are about sixty pound uh, for what you get. Um, this has more parts than this. This only has about five parts. This has at least twenty parts, and they're both the same price. I don't know how they could justify the price being the same, but nonetheless, um, this is a Matilda one. So this is the first version of Matilda um, and then, then this is the early version of a Vickers early tank number one. Uh, so they're both infantry support vehicles. Um, there are a couple of parts that I'm not happy with. Um, there is no decals in the kit and there's no actual colour callouts for what the uh, tank should be. Um, so I'd, that's the only downfall but the kits do have really good detail. I have had a sneak peek, um, normally I don't, but I, or I have had a sneak peek. Um, let's get into it and see what we get. So we're going to take a look at Matilda 1 first off. Um, as I say, it's from Tank Museum. Uh, if you're interested, the kit would be R3D slash 35 slash 072 they are have a couple of other ranges you can also go to uh, Vargas web page obviously it's uh, say it's in the US um, if you want to get these in the UK get them from the Tank Museum because it cuts out the shipping cost from the US because it can be a little bit pricey but they do have a lot of other stuff and artillery guns and stuff and they're all 3D printed and um, so nice tidy box this is your worksheet they are nicely packaged in bubble wrap and, and they're nicely in bags as well so we take a look at instructions quickly and end the kit so as for your worksheet nicely printed it's normal paper these are basically uh, limited run kits so just bear that in mind that's the reason why the cost is so high plus it's coming from America um, but yeah 135 scale Matilda one, and then obviously your call outs uh, and what you, you have to do as you work your way along, and tells you not to glue your parts, test fit everything, test fit your tracks multiple times. Uh, it, it, it says it multiple times, test fit, test fit, test fit. It's, you need to do that with all kit manufacturers. If you need, if you don't test fit, you just cut them off and glue them straight to your vehicle. You might not fit. Um, so yeah, this is a side detail. I'd say all the upper superstructure pretty much apart from the turret and side of the tracks is separately but attaching small detail parts this is a picture of the uh, model I believe and these numbers I think correspond to some of the uh, parts that you need to attach and tracks you can go into place once you've done so you don't break stuff off here are a couple of images black and white here is a uh, the brown version I was on about and this is the green version um, this tank is at Tank Museum and it, there is a running example which is in green and black colours I'll probably end up doing that but like I say there's no actual markings and no actual official colour call outs these are all the parts so these are like 23 parts the other tank only has 5 again test fit, test fit, everything now as for the kit, it's nicely in bubble wrapped, so here's the upper superstructure. In here we have the tracks. And this one has the rest of the detail. So just be careful because they are 3D printed and 3D printing can be a little bit fragile. But you shouldn't have to cut anything off this. This is pretty much moulded all as one part. You can see the mould lines if you look carefully and close. 
but I think once you've done a coat of primer and paint and you've done your weathering it should all disappear sadly most of the details are already attached so I'm not a fan of doing it like that with the tools I like to do mine separately but this is the way it's done I'll have to just be careful with my painting um, have got a little bit of damage on the side of the vehicle there um, I could normally I'll be angry and peed off but bear in mind these are 3d printed you're gonna get a little bit of mistakes um, but you have to take that with a pinch of salt because these are the way they've done you can call that battle damage which is what I'm gonna do um, this part I would have to fill though maybe because it probably be vi visible but Overall detail is pretty good. Um, and now this section here is the rest of the uh, parts for your vehicle. They're on these supports. You get a nice protective frame. They've tried to do it as best they can. You've got your turret. Again, hatches are closed, which is not a problem. You've got your rest of your boxes, your tools some um, crew member helmets, fuel tank, uh, cans, the towing eyes, uh, what else is there, fenders, there's the uh, nameplate as well for your vehicle. Apart from that slight mistake on the, the front, uh, that's not the, the only issue I've got with this kit. Uh, here's your tracks. And will and bogies will mold printed as one. I keep saying molded, but it's not. It's printed. Uh, all your supports you've got to take care of. Most of these can break away quite easily, but some of them you'll have to cut away. But it shouldn't be should be too difficult. It does have the sag within the uh, uh, track. These are your attachment points to the uh, to the lower hole. So that is it for that tank. So this is the second vehicle. This is the Vickers One uh, support vehicle again, nicely boxed. Standard box in the worksheet, nicely packaged as before. Using a ton of parts, and this one I think is only like five parts. Yeah, five parts. So, and all they give you is just the uh, photo, um, photo of what the parts. So basically, all you get is the lower sides and a turret and a hatch, and that is basically your parts. So whole tracks, turret. Again, test fit. Make sure everything's fine. Again, no colour callouts, no markings. They're the only two downfalls, and. Obviously I've got a little bit of a short shot on my kit, but that's not a problem. Here's your turret, superstructure, and tracks. Here are the tracks. Uh, these are supports, these come away quite easily. Um, but the inside, this is the inside, we'll be facing the vehicle. And the outer sides on the, on the inside, so we have to cut these away. So I quickly remove these and I'll show you the detail on the other side. All right, after a few minutes getting these uh, attachment points off the uh, lower side of the tanks, a little bit cleaned up still to do, but they are, do finally come off. They are a little bit tricky, just have to take your time. So this is what the inner side looks like. Sorry, outer side is what you would see. Um, again it has that mould lines, again primer, paint should take care of that, um, they're not too bad, um, if you've got the skill you could probably make your own tanks, this is the upper main superstructure now, this is the uh, inside you're not going to see, so this is what this part will attach to, these, these pins. Um, 
So that locks into there nicely, some super glue. Obviously I've still got to take this one off the main, main support, which I haven't done, but I've only done one just to show you. That's nicely done. Uh, as for the detail, again, it's nicely printed. You can see some of the lines, but again, sh paint should take care of all that. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with, with, with that. These handles are moulded in, just got to be careful you don't break them off. Um, and your turret will sit obviously in the centre. My turret has already come off its supports. Um, which is here. The hatch goes in there and these sections are for your, your, your guns, which is here you get one extra gun and you get your hatch. Um, turret, I say, is already, already off the support, so that takes a little bit of clean up. That goes on there nicely, does rotate, but you're probably going to just glue them into place anyway. Um, that fits okay. Here's the turret, sorry the hatch I've taken off, takes a little bit of clean up, but that's going to go on there. As I say, uh, the guns, that can come off its support. Being that it's a Vickers tank, they probably be used the Vickers guns as well. These will go in there, I should imagine. I just have to check. These will require a little bit of sanding just to fit in there because they don't fit in there just quite right but a little bit of work but it's not too bad. But that is the basics of this kit as well and what you get for these print, 3D printed models. I think they look pretty good but they are a little bit pricey for what they are. So there you are my friends, another uh, good looking kit or two kits even from um, Vargas Scale Models. Something completely different, they are 3D printed, it is the future. Um, as I say, they are a little bit pricey. The details, superb and nice and crisp and clean and sharp. There is a little bit of mould lines, but again, as I mentioned, a little bit of primer. Once you've painted, weathered, it should be uh, fine. As I say, the only downfalls were no markings and no colour callouts, but other than that, there's no issues. I have contacted the Tank Museum to find out what the colours of the vehicle are. I've seen these vehicles in green and black markings, I've seen them in brown, so that's not too bad. But this one, I can't find any reference material what colour the tank is. They're all black and white pictures, so I have no idea. It's possibly the same as the other World War One tanks, the uh, browny earth colour, possibly. But if anyone knows, let me know what you think the colour should be for this. I'd be uh, more than happy. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.